right now I'm in Nayarit in uh, a little town just outside of Tepic where the Wiraricas live and um, well I'm just actually here to look at their art because I really appreciate the uh, art of the Wiraricas. It's actually my favorite art in all of Mexico uh, that I've come across. Uh, the Wiraricas are sort of the the uh, the guardians of peyote or what they call hikuri and uh, this right here this kind of uh, painting of this man is a traditional wirarica outfit and you can see peyote art pretty much all over like check this out right here this actually must be a ceremony space right here I won't go inside because I don't have permission, but it definitely looks like a ceremony space. And here you can see some of the beautiful, just uh, painted art that they do. But um, I'll show you some of the more stuff as we look around the village. Some of the most uh, notable forms of Wiradika art or Huichol art is beads this very tedious process of beading objects in these beautiful colors and uh, symbolism of their traditions and cultures like the peyote the scorpion the serpent the deer the sun and uh, these symbols are pretty much reflected in all of their art and all their art has very deep meaning even the colors represent different things <clears throat> another form of erotica art is yarn painting they get these wood planks and with some kind of glue or substance that sticks the yarn onto it, they make these shapes with this yarn into beautiful uh, yarn paintings. We'll try to find some. Monse over here is making friends. Let's go see what she's up to. Buenas tardes. Hola. ¿Y eso quién lo hizo entonces? Mi mamá. ¿Tu mamá? Sí. ¡Qué hermoso! Mira. Todo está hecho a mano. ¡Qué bonito! ¿Esto qué es? ¿Para un brazalete? Sí, es para los brazos para las mujeres. ¿Para los zapatos? Sí. Ok. Oh, ¡Qué chido! Sí. ¡Qué bueno! Zita Kua. So this is some of the Wicholi or Wiraika artwork. They make these beautiful beaded, well they use beads for all kinds of things, but this jewelry. Peyotes. Huele <laughs> raro. Huele menos esto. Sí, ¿por qué huele así? Porque está curado. ¿Y qué tiene? Ay, oh, no, no, no huele bien. Y esta es la limpia.
oh, everything about this tradition and all kind of psychedelic traditions is so colorful and lively. And uh, man, it took me a week and a half to get here. I've been busing across Mexico from Veracruz and just got here yesterday. Just to appreciate this beautiful hat and these bags too. And there's more uh, in the village that we'll check out. How about this one? <coughs> See? No. No, you didn't buy nothing? No, I This one? Sí. Okay, it's a significa. Bonita? <laughs> sí, bonita. Significa que me gustó. Mm -hmm. Taco. 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 Once I found a secret restaurant. See? ¿Sí? Quieres comer? Huh? Oh, it's another market full of Wicholi art. Wichol is the other name for Wirarica, the Spanish name. Hola, buenas tardes. Sapo? Wow. Look at all this stuff. Here we'll go on this side so you can get some of the light. Reminds me of Christmas a little bit. Me gusta la pinturas. Hola, buenas tardes. Pasar a ver, eh. Sí. Gracias.
See, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about with the beaded, intricate beaded artwork with the crazy colors, beautiful colors. And this is the uh, yarn right here. The yarn is on a, a little plank of wood. And, uh, So <clears throat> we're on the hunt to try to find a more rural Wiradica community so we can really get uh, immersed into the culture for a few days. And here is uh, actually, there's a lady here, our family, that claims that uh, the production team of Pixar came here and took photos of her. And that she is, uh, that she's uh, the original, or she's the inspiration for Mama Coco in the movie Coco.